Hello, it's me, R.R. Lee, and this is the Linden Gyration. For our target, Sal Falcone, he is sleeping on a bench like a washed up has been gumshoe detective, which he is. Uh, his shoes are definitely filled with gum, and he is sitting, sleeping, next to a couple of very explodable scooters. And we're not going to be shooting them. Shooting them would take two bullets, and he will wake up at the slightest bit of noise. So we're going to drop both of these breach charges by the scooter. There he is right there. We're just going to drop both of the breach charges. One... Two, and it'll blow it up. Excuse me, I think you Ta -da! Body found, but it's an accident kill. Dropping one breach charge won't, won't blow it up. It wouldn't be enough to blow it up, but by dropping two of them, it counts as two explosions. One to break the gas tank, and the other one to ignite the fuel. Uh, ain't that amazing? Ain't that amazing? He doesn't wake up. And as long as an NPC doesn't see us drop them, well, we're good. It, it's that easy for the first one. Mission accomplished. Five stars. It took a little over a minute, though. But a score of 200,000. That is going to be the only 200,000, most likely. Now we have to kill this person in an accident as well. Our new target... Renardo! Is he is he related? Is he related? <laughs> is he related to Ronaldo? I didn't I didn't really look at his name when I was practicing this, but Renardo. Uh, we're going to kill him by shooting a scooter. That scooter right there. We're going to shoot it once so that we can get it to leak the gas, and we need to be shooting at the correct shoulder uh, you just saw me change the shoulders and we're gonna crouch behind this sign gotta get in the right spot because we don't want to be seen while we're doing this and we're gonna shoot the gas tank it's going to leak the fuel and then we just have to line up the shot and when he comes over here when he gets close enough to the scooter we're gonna shoot it there is another piece of cover behind this sign, but since Agent 47 likes to stand up a little bit, even though he's crouched, he will see us behind that piece of cover, and he can say something that will alert other NPCs to come and take a look, and, well, even if they don't take a look, they'll still fault us for it, so it won't be an unnoticed kill if we do that. So we're just gonna wait for him to come over. He's looking at something, at the sky, I guess he saw a nice cloud, and dead. Just like that, accident kill, pick up our gun, everyone's gonna run away, but not our target. Our, our target is, uh... It's only a why? It's only a computer game. It's only a computer game. It's only why a computer he's, game. Yeah, no, he's not gonna recognize us. He's just suspicious of the explosion. But why him when the other guy was closer? That's weird. Our target. Uh, he's still over here sleeping on the bench. See, he's right there sleeping, taking a snooze. That female NPC is looking Good at us. Today, so. Sir. Gotta wait for her to turn around. Gonna drop both of them. One, two. And explosion. Body found, but it's an accident kill, so it's fine. And that is level two done. Uh, this escalation, uh, it gets, uh, it, it does get harder as you progress. But it, they could have made it harder, even harder, and I don't know why I'm trying to give people ideas, but they could have added cameras to this if they really wanted to screw the player. If they really wanted to make it hard, they should have had the uh, camera complication in this. The Big Brother one. Now, some of the things have been changed, and we cannot pacify civilians or injure them. 
for this level the things that have changed are the placement of the scooters they have been placed in their garage because there are less scooters now the ones that we're using though are still gonna be there like you see against that wall there was a scooter it wasn't there uh, we don't need that one though we're gonna be using this one is gonna change shoulders and after that NPC goes away we're gonna shoot the scooter don't want anyone to hear this there's another one walking by just gonna wait for him to pass I don't want him to turn there we go now we can make it leak some gas and we just gotta wait for our target to come the other thing that's changed for this one is now the detective is not going to be sleeping like a has-been. He's going to be walking around. And in addition to waiting for this guy to come over, we're also going to have to wait for the detective to have a conversation on the phone. We, we, we need for him to pick up. Yeah, pick up. To take out his phone and talk to the what's her name for this one the main lady uh, that you would kill in this escalation uh, not escalation in the main game for Sapienza uh, he talks to her says that she has a sexy voice and then will walk to his demise because what just happened to him is what we're going to do because he's up and about now, we can't use our breach charge to blow him up. He's going to see it, or another NPC is going to see it and ruin everything. So, uh, we just got to wait now for her to leave. And got to wait for him to have his conversation. Got to wait for him to have his conversation. This is the scooter that we're going to be using. Search formation. Move out. It's going to leak its fuel, right? It's going to leak its fuel. Um, hmm, it's going to leak its fuel. Uh, okay, there we go. That's, uh, they, that that's better. Why did it take three bullets for that? I have no idea. DeSantis! There we go, Miss DeSantis. That, that was her name. Thank you for that, Sal. I appreciate that, Mr. Falcone. Just gonna catch up on the news while he has his conversation. Straight away. Gonna let him finish that up. And he's gonna walk by the scooter. He takes the roundabout way to get to the pier. Sexy voice. Mmm, sexy voice. Mmm, he says. Mmm. Mmm, like Yoda. Mmm. Uh, she's gonna stand there for a while, but she should move out of the way by the time that he comes over. Bumping into Looking NPCs on today, this sir. is not recommended because it just gets them to stay in the way and not leave. He's right there. Just gotta shoot the gas. <laughs> and he flew he uh he flew like superman uh yep uh that, that's what we wanted to happen he was uh so excited by his death that he flew into the air he was just trying to get to heaven a little bit sooner bless him uh blessing by fire for that guy since he blew up and now, that is another mission complete, and we can move on to level four. Now, level four gets difficult, because we have a third target, and people can see through our disguise. I said our disguise, but we're kind of just wearing a suit, we're, we're wearing plain clothes like everyone else. Uh, literally everybody else on this map. But, you know, they can see through that. They can uh, smell us. They can 
smell the scent of a killer on 47. And uh, that is the scent of danger. There is an NBC right there. So we're gonna cut our way through this hair salon. Not suspicious at all for, uh, for Agent 47 to cut through there, you know? Uh, because he doesn't have any hair. Uh, you know, maybe maybe he could still get a trim, get his eyebrows done. But now that we have that pool of gas there, after one bullet, uh, shooting it there always seems to make it leak out the gas. I don't know why the other one took three shots, but we're waiting for our target, and we also have the lockpick uh, to take that fire extinguisher. That is the only reason that we have the lockpick is to open the door so that we can get fire extinguisher because we're going to be using this fire extinguisher for our new target just gotta wait for this target to finish looking at the clouds rubbing his face what was that on my forehead disgusting wipe it on shirt use other hand to shade him the sun is over here he's in the shade why does he need to cover his eyes Okay, one, two, three, dead. Dead, I killed him on two because he would have expected it on three. And that guy would be suspicious of us, so we gotta go over here. He's gonna eventually turn around like he just did, so we can run over here now. And we're gonna drop the fire extinguisher uh, about even with the pillar that is here. You see like pillar right there? Uh, the one right there, we're gonna make it about halfway, and when he gets close enough to it, we're gonna shoot it to get him to stop, and he's gonna blow up. Bam. Crime noticed. Who noticed? No, no one noticed. That was probably him that noticed, because if you look at the minimap, there is no one within range that would have seen it. He noticed the crime, uh, but he's dead now, so it's fine. It will not affect our rating. It's just mildly upsetting, and I'm glad that it leaked gas that time. What are you doing over there, Sal? Go back to where you are supposed to go. He's going to make his way back around. And he's going to have his conversation. arrived at the location, and it looks clear. Over. Right, Sal? There you go. There you go. I have no idea what loose ends he needed to tie up. Yeah, yeah. Just if anything, he needed to get rid of the bottles. Hey, so, yeah, that's a recycling bin next to him. That green bin right there. Uh, where he was sleeping down before. He must have been hung over. The loose ends that he had to tie up were the ends of that trash bag. Filled with liquor bottles. We're gonna put them away. We're gonna make them go explodey. Because he... Actually, he did a good job of recycling. But uh, it would be better for the environment if he was no longer a part of it. Sorry. Why is that NPC there? She is not normally there. And... We're not there now either. What the? His legs were... Uh, he, he was sleeping almost. I was gonna say almost in the tiger knee pose, but no, that's more like a ballerina. Ballerina mid jump. That's how he was laying on the ground, and you can recognize me too. Why are you there? Why? Why? That, that's the thing about this complication. It takes forever to leave. They're gonna stay there, so I need to wait for boat polishing guy. To come back to his boat so that I can go down these stairs. He's coming back good. Good. We can also hide in this little area right here. Like, if, if we need to, if there are a bunch of people passing by that can recognize us, we can unlock that and go in before they get the chance to see us. And there's another NPC on our path. They just left his dead body there. Disgraceful, disrespectful. This guy can recognize us. Okay, he's gonna turn and look in our direction. That woman can also recognize us, but so long as we take a wide angle, it's fine. And we can leave on the speedboat again. Level four done. So long as you do it in that order, it is fine. 
doing it any other way uh, is seemingly impossible with all of the NPCs that can recognize us, at least in my case. And now for level five, uh, this is uh, this is where it gets uh, weird. So now we have to change our outfit into a bodyguards one and uh, kill two of our targets with it. Yeah. So to get the bodyguard disguise, the best way that I found to do it is what I'm doing right now. It's not to drop a weapon and, dis and uh, distract one of those guys, because if we do that, it throws off the timing of everything. We need to be really fast in doing this, yes. uh, which is why we're breaking and entering right here while he's turned away. Uh, and we're going to open this door and throw a breach charge to distract this guy. And when he comes in, we're going to choke him out, put him in the crate, and take his outfit because he is a bodyguard before i was dropping a breach charge well throwing it to distract one of those two bodyguards over there so that they would come in here so i wouldn't have to pick the door in order to take their disguise just choke them out and put them in the crate in here but that takes talking. too long that takes really too long it takes like two seconds longer than what we just did than what you just watched and that one or two seconds makes a big difference in getting our first target which we are about to take out right now because you see he's standing in place right now he just finished walking up as we were getting that fire extinguisher so we need to prep shoot the uh shoot the scooter let the gas leak and now he's going to walk over here. See, he just decided to walk over so we can blow him up. And we can go for our second target. Is there is just enough time for the prep to get this disguise before he goes past this scooter. And trying to kill him after he's already started his walk cycle is just a pain in the ass. So move fast and that npc is gonna go off to the side so he'll be out of the explosions range that white dot he is going to explode he flew backwards like a hollywood stuntman uh, that must have been what he did before mads s george georgeson i like that his first name is mads uh, i really appreciate that uh, a parent well, a pair of parents, if that is uh, not the name that the priest gave him when he was dropped off at the church orphanage, uh, is Mads. What a mad lad name. Literally Mads, like the magazine. And he's going off into the distance. He needs to have his phone call, reach into your pocket, and take out your phone. He didn't even reach into his pocket. He just had it in his shirt sleeve i guess because he didn't reach into his pants you gonna have the conversation buddy you gonna finish it up but that was a magical body bag right there and he is unfazed by what is happening to him right now okay okay now he reached into his pocket Mr. And he used his, he, he has two phones. I, I guess that makes sense. And now we get to the fun part where we need to get back to the harbor uh, before he has his meeting with the Santas. Ideally, we can be late in getting there, and that is fine. Uh. Just trying to remember what I need to do. It is fine if we're late. Because after his meeting, he'll go to the bathroom. Uh, you know, he uh, he was holding it because there's no bathrooms down these alleys. So, we're just going to take a wide angle. That guy is going to recognize us. So, we need our suit. 
Uh, the two bodyguards are not going to see us in time because I'm going to go over here and cut their line of sight. Screw those guys. And we're just going to go back in from the side. We can't go into the front because uh, the coroner... Uh, the lady that took a two-hour drive to get here to examine this body is here now. And, uh, we need to be careful with how we get our disguise. Because you see, she's, uh, she's kind of right there next to no, where we have our disguise. Things. Really still... should have put it on in here and then drag his body to hide it. But, uh, I forgot to do that. I forgot about that. And right there at that well, well, that tree, is where he's going to have his meeting with the Santa. So we need to go up these stairs and get the fire extinguisher and a good day that we're going to be using for his accident kill. Because we cannot use a scooter to do that because he's uh, too close to other NPCs for us to do that. We will end up hurting one of them or getting seen by one of them and we don't want that to happen. So we're just going to go in and get our fire extinguisher. We have a key for this, uh, but we have a key for this, but it always defaults to the lockpick. I don't know why he wouldn't just automatically use the, the key. Where's the fire extinguisher? I went to the wrong place. I went to the wrong place. It's in the kitchen. It's in the, disregard that... 15 seconds of uh, me being an idiot, okay? It's in the, it's over here in the kitchen. It's over here in the kitchen. I forgot, okay? I, I, I'm allowed to forget. No, go in the window, 47. Go in the window. Uh, I, I'm allowed to forget things. Uh, so, so long as this goes, so long as it goes well. Uh, if this doesn't go well, then the next one that you're going to see is, uh, well, the only one that you're going to see because I'm not going to show this one if I get it, uh, if I get get this wrong I'm going to replay and get it right and uh, and yeah I'm yeah no if, if I if, yeah yeah this is embarrassing if I get this wrong uh, I am definitely hiding this but if I get it right I will I will show this because uh, uh, it is impressive that I still managed to get five stars on this uh, after throwing, like, 25 seconds into the wind. So, let's see. He's not having his meeting now. There's the corner. With her gloves still on, she really should have taken those off. Instead of going around touching everything. So, you see, he's gonna be in here now. In the bathroom. There he is, taking a pee. So, um... I'm, uh... Just gonna drop this. And uh, I'm gonna drop this too. You don't mind if I drop this, do you? No? Okay, good. And I'm gonna close the door. Well, it'll close on its own, actually. And I'm gonna blow him up. And it, uh... It, you know, I said I was gonna blow him up after pressing the button to blow it up. Uh, and I was, ex I was hoping that when I said blow it up that it was actually going to blow up. But instead, I'm just gonna... Do that, and now you're going to go off. Uh, that... I can't believe that worked, actually. That, that you know, that's how you do it. Easily replicable. A replicable, uh, you know, five-star Scion Assassin of uh, level five of this mission, the, the London Gyration. You know, just do all of that step-by-step. Step. Very easily replicable. Replicable. A mission accomplished and the picture for the linden gyration very nice and it is five stars <laughs> uh, uh, okay uh, good good it's, it's five stars of course it is five stars silent assassin just like the first four uh, I, I threw a good uh, a lot of time it would it would have been eight minutes or a little bit under that if I would have went to the kitchen right away instead of 
staring at nothing. Uh, just staring off at my wall while I was playing, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'd like to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you'll enjoy the next one as well. Goodbye.